Hey there guys, this is The Road Painter bringing you another episode of Mortal Realms Monday. This week we're looking at issue 14 with the Dreadblade Harrows. So uh, these guys are uh, lieutenants on horseback and they are, I don't think they're heroes but they are leader units and uh, I have to say they are pretty impressive. They've got the uh, the moulded textured bases again, which I do love. I wish Games Workshop would do that with all their miniatures. Uh, so yeah, got two of these guys. Uh, they are a little bit fiddly to put together. So this week I'll do uh, this video plus the painting tutorial as well as a um, a building tutorial to show you guys how these fit together and probably the best way to put them together in order to to paint them. So uh, with that said, let's have a look at this week's issue. So as I said, it's issue 14 and we are going to discover the forces of chaos. So we've got a little bit on the, uh, the Dreadblade Harrows here. Uh, they act as officers in the ranks of Night Haunt. They serve as bodyguards for higher ranking Geists or as lieutenants to shepherd the lesser spirits who make up the bulk of the, each ghostly Night Horn procession. Cursed to an eternity of torment and misery, Dreadblade, Dreadblade Harrows help lead the cursed armies of the Night Haunt against the living. So obviously they've named these two guys, so we've got Kryptos Shan and Malakir Quail, 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 and then we've got Knights of Shroud. Each Knight of Shroud is the spirit of a commander who betrayed its own people. So hopefully we get one of these in this issue, uh, in this collection. Um, if not, I'm sure we could convert one of these guys. There's not much difference to him. He's got this part of his helmet. And uh, some ram horns there, and a slightly better blade. But uh, yeah, he does look pretty impressive too. So here we have uh, the first of our chaos part, so forces of chaos. Uh, the sky turns blood red and gloomy black. Foul winds, winds bring the stench of corruption. Savage war cries War cries fill the air as the tread of countless armoured feet cause the ground to shake. The armies of Chaos have arrived in force and they want nothing else than to complete their conquest of reality itself. So uh, obviously the forces of Chaos is the, the four main gods. Stinch, uh, Nurgle and whatever, whatever the other two are. I'm sure somebody will put down in the comments the name of the other two. But, uh, yep, and we got the Stormcast Eternals Part 2, uh, A Thousand Storms. So this will go in the Stormcast section of your folder. And uh, this goes on a little bit about the, the Age of Sigma and his vengeance arriving. As well as, I'm assuming, the, uh, the creation of the, the Eternals. Then we have another battles section. Uh, so this battle was the Curse of the Hunter. And so this will obviously focus a little bit on the, the Dreadblade Harrows. And then we have the, the How to Build. And this is what I meant with them being a little bit confusing. You have to make sure that the heads go into the body parts as they are separate before pushing this part through here and then the whole piece goes either side of the horse so personally I would say to paint the horse as one piece and put these two together paint them as another piece then pull them apart and put them on or paint the horse then attach these two pieces and then paint this um, personally priming I'm going to prime mine on the sprue I do think it will be better in this instance and then where anything connects and needs to be glued 
I'll just, um, with a mould line remover, just scrape some of the paint away to get back to the plastic so that we have a good bond with the, the plastic glue. So there's the detail on the horse go together, nice and simple. And as you can see, they clip through and parts of them go through the horse itself. Then we've got the, uh, the how to paint. Obviously, if you're following this, rather than my tutorials, as I do tend to stay away a little bit from the, the traditional paint style. Um, but if you're following this, then obviously you'll have this in the guide. If not, then you can check out the, the video for this week's Dreadblade Harrows. Obviously, I'll just do the one, and then that leaves me another model for any time that we get an issue again without models and I'll have another model to paint. So got some more on the Dreadblade Harrows. So after painting it Corax White, you go ahead and cover it with uh, Nylock Oxide. Then a dry brushing of Corax White. I like to do this more extreme on the ends as though it's white and then coming into the, the blue. You could do it the other way around. Then we've got the Cantor Blue over the top of the cloaks along with a, a bit of red trimming there and then the playthrough so this one is five castigators and a griffhound against the two dread blades and the large battle mat and the terrain so we're now starting to use the large battle mat a lot more as well as the the terrain pieces so we get a lot more interaction with thick with stuff that we've got in previous issues so we've got the, the reference sheet for the castigators and the dread blades, which is obviously their, their war scrolls. And then we go through the turns. Uh, the night haunts are starting this time. And then obviously the storm casts, back to the night haunts, and then finishing with the storm casts, or carrying on until you have finished. Alright, so that's the end of issue 14. So next issue will be 15 we'll get the uh get to finish the sigma mausoleum where i'll be painting up the gate and the statue here um, as well as the base for the main building that we do and then issue 16 we can see that we get some more uh, castigators and uh, secretors so again on that issue we'll paint one of these guys as another storm host if you'd like to leave a comment uh, down in the comment section as to which storm host you would like to see one of these guys get painted up as, that'll be three weeks from now as we'll get issue 15 next week. Because I'm only getting two issues a month at the minute because of uh, the subscription having to do it that way uh, due to COVID, I'll do issue 15 next week and there'll be nothing the week after. And then issue 16 the week after that. So that gives this week, next week, and the third week to uh, collect as many comments as we can and see which storm host out of the ones that we have so far in our folder, in our collection, any of those storm hosts. And we'll see, we'll go through how I would paint one up. And we'll, we'll have a look in issue 16. So uh, once again... Thank you guys for joining me i hope you enjoyed the video and you know got a good look at that if you'd like me to go into more detail on each element of each issue let me know in the comments and i'll uh, be sure to to do a little bit more in terms of the video but until next time hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys soon thanks a lot